if, if I feel like I need a little more bend in a horse and, and they're, they're decent in their face, but I feel like I need a little bit more to the sides, a little more bend, this seems to be where I go our, our, uh, our correctionals. Um, I think just because of the moving parts, you can get them to the sides just a little bit more. Um, now the correctionals come to me in all different sizes, shapes, lengths of shanks, little higher ports, little bigger ports, a little longer shank, things like that. There's, there's so many different variations, and to me that is just what you need from that horse, uh, whether he's a little lighter or a little heavier, things like that. And every horse likes something a little bit different. We can, I think as horse trainers can say, we've got all these bridles, you know, and we know what each one of them does. <laughs> to be honest with you, we have all these bridles because every horse likes something just a little bit different. And there's been lots of times that I thought this was the perfect bridle for him and he didn't like it at all and I had to go the complete opposite way, a solid long shank, big old heavy bit, and that's what he liked best. So. I personally really, when I start getting in the little more advanced stages of these bridles, I'll, I'll try all different kinds, whether I think it's the right one or not, because you never know what that horse really likes. They're all individuals and sometimes they just feel a little bit more comfortable in something different. Um, so you got your different correctionals, like I say, I like these for horses that are a little lighter, but I feel like I need a little more to the sides. Then let's say you have a horse that is, you need some of that, but you need just more, they're a little bit heavier. Um, this correctional here seems to work pretty good. It's, it's the same correctional as all of these, you know, all the same moving parts, but it has a much higher port, you know, much higher here, much taller. Um, working off the roof of their mouth. But the one thing that I do like about it is it's very tip back. It's got a lot of slope here like that. The straighter that it is, the more severe it's gonna be. Whereas this one is very tip back, so that makes it a lot slower. Um, but you still have that for a little bit more leverage. As you progress from there, and let's say you need even more than that, your horse may be a little bit heavier. Um, maybe they've got a little bit too much forward to them. Uh, maybe their shoulders want to be down just a little bit more and you're trying to bring everything back and up just a little bit more. That's when I'll get into